right, so we are in Twin Falls, Idaho, just outside of this beautiful canyon with a giant waterfall and a nice, beautiful overlook. And so, uh, this is a beautiful spot to throw some pots. Um, we recently got a travel wheel so I can actually do pottery on the road, which is something that I always kind of struggled with was that separation between my two loves of traveling and pottery. And this is kind of a dream come true because this is two worlds meeting together and so it's it's really beautiful and um, I'm excited I'm a little nervous because I'm right off I'm like very close to like the cliff fear heights and then I'm always just kind of looking around for rattlesnakes but this will be good crazy to be playing with clay and water and pottery and I always look at like the landscape and like the rocks and like all these canyons that this was all carved out by water. I don't know, it all ties in together. So it's, uh, it's all fun and games until it's time to clean up. <laughs> so uh, yeah, pottery's great but it leaves a mess everywhere and then there's like this dust that gets on your fingers it's on my camera there's clay on my lens so let's get the cleaning it's a great idea to you know shoot this for the golden hour except there's gnats everywhere eating us alive I'm about halfway done cleaning up takes a minute Eaten alive. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do something. And uh, leave no trace. I'm just writing Twin Falls, Idaho, so that I'm able to know where this was always created and just kind of look back on this beautiful view. And whether it's me or whoever is able to have this mug, will know that this was. Uh, here as a piece of uh, Idaho fit. Um, I will say the big challenge, the hardest part, is figuring out where I'm going to store them and how to keep it safe so that they don't crack. I pray that these pots will not break. I pray that they make it to whatever studio they make it to and that they are beautiful and that I get to actually put them to use and enjoy it. Amen. Amen. Feels good. Time for some Stranger Things. Stranger Things. That was uh, that was my work day. Like I said, don't let anybody tell you what you can't do. When we first started this out, Jackie fell in love with pottery, but was still in love with traveling and was scared that she couldn't have both. And I said, you can have whatever you want. He's the sweetest man. You can he have knows. whatever you want. You just gotta work hard enough. And I know I, I can, can be what I wanna be. Be, be what, what I wanna be. If I work hard at it. If I work hard at it. I'll be where I wanna be. Be, be, be. All right, go on. Uh, that's all I know. <laughs> all right, Stranger Things it is. Also, shout out to uh, Ken's. How beautiful your spoon is. Oh. Uh, one of my favorite things about pottery is that we actually got to let other people try it. So we were at a park in Moab, and I just brought out my clay and just got to make spoons. And so I fired it for one of my friends, and uh, I'm excited for her to see it. So yeah, tonight, watching Stranger Things. Tomorrow morning, we, uh, we took Eustace a little further than we ever taken Eustace before as far as off-roading capabilities. Oh, shoot, those big rocks. So we have to find out if we can even get out of here tomorrow. Oh no, 
don't say that. Don't bring that negativity. We'll be able to get out of here. It's just gonna be fun. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna approach uh. this differently. Oh. Those, uh, we we're praying for pots for a reason. It's a bumpy ass road. <laughs> See you, uh, for our overlanding adventure in the morning. <laughs> I've been doing this thing. Well, this is the first week. I'm trying to run seven miles a week. I only have a mile and a half left to do today. And uh, yeah, trying to instill some discipline. So, uh, oh, it's hot. Let's go run. A few moments later. Seven miles in one week. First week of many. Time for strength training. moment there we did not want to do any of that didn't want to work out mm. I didn't really want to run but the reason I have been running and trying to do at least seven miles a week is because I believe discipline is everything freedom. is freedom it's freedom from your mental health it's freedom to do the things you want to do and so by us being disciplined in other aspects of our lives we're hoping that it overflows into everything I feel like fitness was such a huge part of my life and I feel like in traveling I'm slowly letting go of that and I'm trying to discipline myself to get back on it and under different circumstances you know it's not like we're in a house where we have all this like equipment and AC it looks a lot differently now and so trying to see what that looks like and discipline ourselves to do it despite what that looks like. Yeah, yeah. there's always gonna be reasons not to do anything in your life. You know, even with the pottery, like there's a hundred reasons why Jackie shouldn't be throwing off the edge of a cliff, but guess what? Discipline and lots of work got her right there. And the same thing applies to you working out. And she needs to give herself more credit. The only reason I work out, I've always ran, but like lifting weights and strength training, it's because she holds me accountable. I see her doing it, I'm like, wow. Jiggle, jiggle, it folds. I'd like to see you wiggle, wiggle. All right, smoothie time. to run uh, and uh, we might see the falls maybe yep better do some chores so first stop was uh, Home Depot first chore done had a battery box down here that was a little loose but uh, I reinforced it with some straps so all done now This is the grossest part. This is the grossest part. Sometimes you gotta deal with poop. Sometimes you gotta deal with pee. Sometimes 
Sometimes you gotta deal with poop and pee. So we made it to Jiffy Lube. We're literally inside Jiffy Lube right now. I think chores just took a little longer than we expected. And now it's like five o'clock and driving, figuring out where we're gonna sleep and all that just sounds like a lot. <laughs> we kind of took our time today, so we might be going back to where we were. Oh, no. no, not to the exact spot. There's camping near there that was not nearly intense. That will probably go to. There's also a fight tonight and there's Stranger Things, so we have to decide. And we know that there's service there. And we know there's service there. So we might just go there, park, leave in the morning. Uh, this is a 1993 Toyota pickup. Pickup, okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of options on here, I'm just trying to figure out. Yep, it's the V6. Jorde is done. Finally, oh my gosh. Freaking A, that was a long one. It was a whole day. We were supposed to leave Twin Falls today and go Not to Oregon or something. Not happening. But anyways, what we've been waiting for. We finally get to see what this town was named after, right? Yes. Twin Twin Falls. Yeah, um, we're at Shoshawan. Shoshone. Shoshone. What's Shoshawan? Shoshawan sauce. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. We're at Shoshone Falls Park. Uh, which I can only assume that's what they named Twin Falls after. We take Delilah on a walk. Enjoy ourselves, and then I guess we're probably just gonna head back to the same BLM, less complicated spot, sleep, and then we'll leave in the morning. So let's go check this out. that it is 4th of July weekend, so I don't love the crowd of people here. Yeah, if it wasn't for so much people, I think this would be a great spot. What she's trying to say is that she loves the falls, but she loves food more. Yeah, let's go eat. Let's go eat. kids and you don't brush your teeth your teeth are gonna fall out do you guys like do side to side or up and down or mechanical or OG or do you brush your teeth at all <laughs> I know people who don't yeah okay this is ridiculous goodbye <laughs>